All right, here we are in our last two man with necrotic breakfast. And what do you think about this hand, Abby? I think um, it's got one too many civilized scholars and one too few lands to keep. Yeah, I think if it had one less scholar and one more land, then we could keep yeah, it. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> great if it did. And our Barbudo opponent, he keeps his hand, so I think we have to mulligan, yeah? Yeah. yeah we would like to mulligan. Please. Oh, no blue. Uh, well, we do have two bloodlines. We but do have two bloodlines. Why couldn't one of those swamps just be a blue? I don't think we can send this away, because if we get five cards, and if it was basically like this hand minus a swamp, which it could very well be, mm -hmm. we would be then in trouble. Can, with, yeah. But if we just draw a blue, we are on the draw, then... Yeah, I don't think it's we can okay mulligan this. Yeah. We need to draw an island or blue source. Unless he has a very slow opening, then we can win through bloodline beats, but... Yeah. Not gonna count on that game one. Yeah. Oh, and island. Are we playing against yet another Delver deck? Delver ducks are popular. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Fudge. We got blue right. card, but if we draw an island, then this hand, if we get an island or uh, drown catacomb, then this hand is sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh no! Another blue white deck. Maybe it's the blue one, blue white tempo deck like we played in round one, or maybe it's a blue white control. Oh, are you joking? What? <laughs> All right. Well, now we need any land. I'm not gonna get greedy and say blue source anymore. Just any land will do. Just as long as it's not another Merfolk leader. We'll get the fourth yeah. one, don't worry. Oh, probably. Oh, guys, this ain't trap. Yuck. Okay. It's too early for that shit. You're gonna be taking six next turn no matter what, basically. Oh, hey! hey. Nice of you to show up. Alright. Well, better late than never. Let's get the looter down. Make him think what the hell's going on. Alright, so we just need to win with the combo as fast as possible, basically. When I mean, we have most of it in our hand, which is good, we just need the ooze and the soul eater. And hope he doesn't have a bounce spell, which he probably does. Probably does. Might need to chump that at some point, but not right now. Down to 14 already. Ugh. This is bad. This is bad. Yeah. Ooh. Gut shot. shot. Well, there's more where that came from. Yeah, we are probably not winning this one. Land, land. Ooh, good. Okay, I think we play Bloodline Keeper here. Yeah. He's probably going to bounce it or cancel it, or not cancel, but mana leak it. But no, whatever. It goes to the graveyard. It's I, fine. Well,. Do we play Bloodline Keeper or do we play double Merfolk Looter? Because, I mean, he's going to hit us... If we play Bloodline Keeper and he kills it, which he very if, could easily do by either countering it or bouncing it, then he hits us for six, brings us down to eight, and then we have another turn to play another Bloodline Keeper, which he can deal with just as easily, and then we're, we're dead at that point. We could, I guess we could play double Merfolk Looter as a deterrent, I guess. I don't know if that's better, though. I, I'd rather just play the Bloodline Keeper. But, I mean, if we loot into a postmortem lunge and an ooze, and he taps out with his creatures, then we could just win next turn, but... I don't know, this is a tough decision. All right, well, we're just going to go with Bloodline Keeper, because we just need to stop that thing from attacking. And Merfolk Looter plan, I mean, it still dies to the same things. It dies to a bounce spell, because even when we go off with the uh, combo, he can still bounce our ooze. Or it dies to a counter spell if we try and play Postmortem Lunge and he counters it. But this way, oh, he's gonna counter it, yeah. That's fine. But this way, at least he has to have it now and not later. All right. Well, we're gonna be taking <laughs> another six next turn and playing another Bloodline Keeper. However, the fact that he—I don't know if the fact that he countered it means he doesn't have a bounce spell because I would, if I were him, I probably wouldn't use a bounce spell on that expensive creature, but. Yeah, I, I think maybe know. he doesn't have bounce. That could be helpful. Oh, stupid angel tokens. All right, well, yeah, he's just leaving all his mana up. What do we get? Land. Oh. Well, we could play Grimgrin. That seems awful, though. We're just going to play Bloodline Keeper, because Grimgrin can't block yet. Mm. Well, I guess we play Bloodline? Uh, what do you think, Abby? This is a tough decision. Yeah. Well, if we... Our only hope is either to play Bloodline, hope he doesn't have a counter, or we play Merfolk Looter and hope to just win with the combo next turn. And we need both Merfolk Looters in play for that to happen, basically. Well, actually, we just... You know. Well, if we play Bloodline Keeper, and he bounces it or counters it, then we're basically dead, because we can't do anything. But if we play double Merfolk Looter, then he can, and he only kills one, then we have a chance of winning next turn, because we can discard Grimgrin... If we post mortem lunge and necrotic ooze and all right, yeah, well, let's let's try putting down the looters then. You think we should? Yeah. Yeah, I just think I think we just got to try and win with the combo here because I think he's just gonna bounce or counter another bloodline keeper. He's just gonna counter. At least this way, I mean, at least this plays around mana leak. We get one merfolk looter and we have a hope to win. But if he has another mana leak, then 
Bloodline Keeper just does nothing. And we're just going to play the other looter here because waiting until next turn does absolutely nothing to um, help us win the game because uh, he's going to kill us the following turn yeah. with this Geist that we were unable to stop. And yeah, he probably has a Bounce spell in hand, so we're not going to double block here. Because if, he, if we double block and he bounces it, then he just kills our guys for free, which is awful. We just need to hope he doesn't have another counter spell, which he might not, since he didn't counter either of the Merfolk looters. But he considered encountering one of them. Yeah, he might have just been bluffing. <laughs> Listen, we, we gotta hope for a lot of things. Yes. Oh, gut shot. Yuck. Oh, he gut shot us? Alright. Does he have another gut? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, well, fair enough, fair enough. So we weren't gonna win either way. What is with all these decks having gut <laughs> shot nowadays? I don't know. What were we gonna draw? Were we gonna draw Grim Grin, Swamp? We weren't getting anywhere near our combo. Oh, well, we were gonna, we were gonna draw Necrotic Ooze, but we didn't, we couldn't have hasted or anything, so. Maybe it would have been right to play Bloodline Keeper. Alright, anyway, let's keep going. Let's keep trying. So we're basically playing against the same deck we played the first round Blue White Tempo with Geist and everything. He probably has Delvers and Snapcasters yeah. and all that jazz. Uh. However, I think this time around, I want to definitely bring in the Black Sun so that we have a way of dealing with Geists of St. Traft and stuff like that. Yeah. And I think Civilized Scholar is just very bad in this matchup, because with he, when he has Gut Shot, and we, after we pay three mana, that's just that's just awful to have okay. it Gut Shotted. Black Sun Zenith, two of those can come in. We definitely want Mental Misstep as well, and I think we can take out the Scobs. We want one Civilized Scholar again, just to get him in the graveyard. Well, what's Mental Misstep going to do? Counter his bounce spells. Ah. Okay. Or his gut shots, or... Oh, yeah, because odds are he has Vapor Snag, so... Right, exactly, and we need to counter that. So we, I want to take out one more card for another Mental Misstep. Nah, probably not a looter. Hmm. Uh, I could take out Mirror Mad Phantasm. Eh, it doesn't seem so good. I like that card. Maybe the other stuff. It's just really good to have in our graveyard. Yeah, you need to have so. at least one of them in there. At least one. I, I just really want this other misstep. So take out a Grimgrin. Take out a Grimgrin. We need no. We don't want to take out. We don't want to touch any of the combo take pieces. Take out a looter. That's what I'm thinking. But when we're already taking out the scholars, do we really want to take out another looter? I don't think so. Well, we have three mental missteps. I think that's enough. Yeah, but he's gonna have four vapor snags. So wind snapcaster mages. Enough. Hmm. Looter's very good. Well, maybe we should take out a looter because if he just has. Um, gut shots, then he can just kill them so easily. Yeah, yeah, so we might as well just take one out. Yeah, we are losing a lot of ways to discard cards, though, when we take out Civilized Scholars, Armored Scob, and one Looter. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to affect the... I mean, we have Dream Twist and Looter, and Mirror Mad Phantasm, basically, to mill. Yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe we'll just go with three Mental Missteps, like you said. Yeah, and keep in, like, a Looter or a Scholar. You think this looks good? It looks fine. All right, well, we'll give this a shot. I'd like to find a way to bring in the extra mental misstep, but that's what testing is for, I guess. Oh, we have one too many cards on our sideboard. No, we have, oh, we have 59, no, 60. You can bring that mental misstep in. Oh, right. what are we missing? Okay. My bad, I miscounted. All right, so four <laughs> mental missteps, two black suns. Let's submit. Let's submit. 